When collecting new specimens for DNA barcoding, the first thing you want to make sure you do is get a good photo of it in the field. Later on, we can sample DNA from the specimens using these Wattman FDA plant saver cards. These cards have four sample areas and a laminated flap that folds over the sample area. Take a clean, fresh piece of reproductive tissue. Here I tore off some tubes of abolite and place that tissue in the middle of one of the sample areas. You want to be careful when you place the tissue in the sample area so you don't damage the surface of the card. Then you want to fold the flap over and use a hammer to smash the tissue. Next, check and make sure that you properly smash the tissue by observing the back of the card and looking for a stain on the back. This stain indicates that the cellular contents of the tissue have been broken open and have soaked through the fibers of the card. There you can see the stain. You want to remove excess tissue that accumulates on the flap as well as on the surface of the sample area. And be careful when you do this again to make sure that you're not damaging the fibers of the card. It's important that you label the samples right away and then allow the cards to air dry. Or if you're in a humid environment, you can place the cards in a Ziploc baggie with desiccant. And that's it.